Hi, I'm Kathy. This is the final episode or installment in our four-part series on how to start putting a layered curriculum unit together. The first one we put our C layer together, our second lesson we put our B layer together, and our last lesson we put our A layer together. And we did all this using the lesson planner in the back of the layered curriculum workbook. So now what we have is we've got written out our C layer objectives and some assignment choices. We also have our B layer objectives and some assignment choices, and we have our A layer objectives our A layer questions and then the students will pick from those. There's also a place on the lesson planner as you're going through this uh, to list materials that you need to gather and put together or notes to yourself. So you can put down like I have a scavenger hunt so I, I need to actually make up my scavenger hunt list. Uh, I need to find the URL link to the um, internet quiz on parts of a seed. Uh, it's got a place for things to copy, so I know one of my C-layer objectives was to use some of the ancillaries that came with my textbook, so I made a note here to myself that I'm going to need to photocopy those. So I've got all this put together. The next decision that you need to make, or maybe the first decision, is are we going to put this together and introduce it to the students as a daily method, or are we going to use a traditional method? Uh, if you've been following my work for a while, you know that I really strongly encourage people to start with daily method layered curriculum. And one of the uh, easiest ways to see the difference between these two is to actually look at the examples that are in the workbook. And as it turns out, the examples are also on the plant kingdom. I didn't realize I do so many things on plants. I'll have to switch to a different topic in the next video. Uh, so if you've got the workbook, you can look on page 20, and that shows you the daily method of layered curriculum for a unit on plants. And then if you flip over just a couple of pages to page 24, it shows you the exact same unit done in a traditional format. The only difference really is when you look at the C layer objectives that you put together, uh, in the daily method, we go really slow. We're spoon feeding layered curriculum to the students. So today, on day one, uh, the first objective was to describe um, the vascular system of plants. That's our daily objective. Everyone in the whole room is dealing with that objective. I still offer assignment choices and they still get to choose what assignment they want to work on, but we're only working on that first objective. The second day, again, I pick the objective for the day and we all work on assignments going towards that second objective. Third day, etc., till we work through our C layer. Then we pick a day where everyone in the room is doing a B layer at the same time. So if we're doing a lab or uh, we're doing the scavenger hunt or, or whatever they're doing for their B layer, but everyone in the room is doing a B layer on the same day. And the same with the A layer. Uh, we either go down to the media center or I bring materials into the classroom for us to work on, but the whole room is working on the A layer. That's called the daily method, and I encourage you to start with that for a number of reasons. First of all, it looks similar to a traditional classroom, so the students are more comfortable with it. Uh, it's a little easier for new teachers to manage, uh, but even experienced teachers, I think when you're starting out the year again, I encourage you to start with the daily method. Probably the most important reason is that you get kids through all three layers because one of the most frequently asked uh, questions or problems that teachers run into is that students get through the C layer and then quit. And if you're doing the daily method, you don't have that problem. All the kids see how to do a C layer, how to do a B layer, how to do an A layer because we're walking them through together. Once they get kind of comfortable with this, you might want to go to these traditional uh, formats. I really like them. The only difference is you give everybody the C layer all at once and they can pick which objective they want to work on in any particular day. So on the first day of the unit, we've got five objectives here. We might have some kids that are working on adaptations of the plants to moving on to land. We may have some kids that are working on the difference between gymnosperms and angiosperms. Uh, it's, a, it's a much more open uh, flow to it. Uh, but once the kids are more comfortable with how this works and making choices and understanding that there's um, something due each day and then they've got a routine going, then you can move to the traditional formats. So if you're just starting out or if it's early in the year, I do encourage you to start with the daily method. Once you get more comfortable, the kids are more experienced with it, then you can move to the traditional ones and I think you and the students will enjoy it a lot more. If you need some more information on how to put these together, that's what the textbook and the workbook are for. Take a look at those. If you need some more ideas, also go to brains.org.